What is good? We're back. Full tripod. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I don't even need. I don't it. even need a soundboard. I got uh, it covered. Uh, You're like the guy from Police Academy. We got old Jay Wayne's on the ones and twos. We got our guy Matt Foreman for everything Penn State. Uh, I'm telling you, tw- <laughs> 2025 class. I was reading over a tw- uh, someone post their big board for 2025. Five Penn State players in the top 32. Mm. Five. I'm going to be insufferable. Mm. Two now running backs. Now we're talking. Two running backs and a quarterback. Mm. Just what wait we- for that class. Trade all the picks for that class. Yeah. Pile them up. Uh, but today we're going to do uh, 48 must draft rookies. 48. <laughs> <laughs> the, whole four four the whole four yeah. rounds. The whole four rounds. They're all draftable. And that's really what we're coming to talk about because you have all these must draft, must avoid, but it's it's always going to be about price, right? So, you know, we're going to do some must draft. We're going to do some must avoid in the next episode, but it's really going to be price contingent. You know, I don't, we don't, I don't really hate too many guys if they're properly priced, right? Sure. Yeah. I don't hate players. I hate values. Right. Who do you want to draft? Who is a must draft, Jason? Which number one through forty eight? We're gonna go. We're gonna hit you with one around per, per person, person, and then we can we might throw some extras in there as we're going. You, you told me one per round. One per round per person. Round one, fight. I'm taking Zay Flowers to the dance. That's. All right. I mean, I, I wanted to say a rich, but that's too easy. Zay Flowers. I just don't know how much more I can come on here and tell you about Zay Flowers and how awesome he is. And I'm just gonna every every opportunity I get. So that when he is popping off, busting shit, taking it to the house, f- freaking out, rising up, start up ADPs, you can be like, you heard it here, okay? We've been saying it all off season. The first rookie profile we did, we were like, I don't know, we haven't done any others, but this guy seems pretty fun. And then he just kept, you know, we hey, did all I, the rest I have a of quick question. Did he ever, like, turn down any six-figure NIL deals? <laughs> So I should, I should is preface a, is this a stud. with what we are going on as per usual is super flex, tight end premium, rookie mock drafts that we've kind of done. And we're, we're kind of basing it on the general of what we've seen, consensus of what we've seen so far. Uh, right. And then Zay Flowers, he's usually going mid to late, you yeah. know? Yeah. He's not making it out of the first round in super flex. You know, probably got to take JSN. And, I got to take JSN and Gibbs. And then I'm... I'm it's hard for me not to think about taking Zay Flowers right there. And if I can get mm-hmm. in, if, if if Addison's gone, then I probably got to take Zay Flowers. I just I got to try and trade up to get Zay Flowers. I don't mind trading back a little bit to get some. Still get still get Zay Flowers. Startups. I'm probably looking at some Zay Flowers. Like let me get Zay Flowers. Boom. Matthew, uh, your I have a Jordan Addison at cost. Okay. Just because he's the cheapest player that I feel most comfortable, I feel right. most confident about. So right. I think that's kind of a cop out answer, but yeah. it's the first round. The I mean, first two rounds are kind of hard for each each avoid and must draft list because I like a lot of guys here. I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Addison's got a great landing spot there. He should be number three at worst on the, the target pecking order there. So yeah. I think he uh, could. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Sorry. <laughs> I think that he could come in and he could be the most I think he could have the best season for a rookie wide receiver just based on his situation. So yeah. we're talking about a guy who won the Blitnikoff Award as well right. too. So Yeah, but that was yeah. so long ago I don't even remember or care anymore, you know? Gotcha. I like it. I like, I like Addison. I like both of those guys yeah. a lot. And like I said, it's kinda kinda tough here in the first for, for both things. But I'm gonna throw again super flex tight end premium. I'm going one of these first round tight ends. And it I know nobody likes that. And if if you want it to be Kincaid, it can be Kincaid in your mind. Got to be Kincaid. Uh, I don't if think you want Kincaid's it to be, the only consensus first round tight end. If you want it to be Mayer, fine with that too. If you even want to throw Laporta in there because that's your guy, I'm fine with that. I haven't Back seen end, I haven't seen Mayer Laporta go in any I, uh, unless yeah. it was like 112. Right, and that's that's basically what we're talking here. 110 through 112. One of the, a, a, a tight end, most likely Kincaid makes the most sense here. Because yeah. it's going to, in tight end premium, the, the, the tight ends that, that are going to get you more points are the ones that are going to obviously get more volume. Yeah. And when 
the guys, the tight ends who get more volume are up in the top wide receive scorers of the league. We've seen it multiple times with the with the Wallers and the Kelseys and the Andrews. They just they're up yeah. there as a top one, two, three in even wide receiver scoring when they get targets like that. And I know, you know, everybody likes to tell you that. Well, just just don't draft them and trade for them next year. Well, first of all, if everybody's saying that it's not going to fucking work. Second of all, <laughs> nobody who fucking drafted Dalton Kincaid in the first round is trading you. For less than that, the next year. They're yeah. just not. You're not buying. Like, you might be able to buy well, fucking. You might be able to buy Musgraves. You might be able to buy Strange. You might be able to buy. Oh, you can always, oh trust me. You can always buy some Strange. All of those guys. There's a whole business model around that. The world's oldest business. Right. <laughs> You know, you're not probably not buying Mayer and you're probably not buying Laporta next year. Those people yeah. are just who drafted those tight ends, unless it's just somebody who gets scared and is completely impatient. Anybody who drafted those tight ends already knows what the deal is. Like, yeah. so you're not getting those guys for cheaper the next year. Like, yeah. you're just not. Like, I we talked about it before. McBride right here. If he got, look at, look at, if D Hop isn't on that roster next year, which who knows? This, the, well, this year? Right, this year. Okay. Where's the size? Where's the size on that roster? Where's the beef? They've got like the shortest receiving core in the league. Yeah. And they drafted a third round rookie out of Stanford, Wilson. Who's tall. Who's tall, but I don't, you know. I, I don't know anything about I, him. I, 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 didn't, I didn't have him up that high. I didn't, um, I didn't even watch him. And I watched like 60 guys. So, you know, there's no size. <laughs> he could be a nice, easy comfort bra blanket. The, the tight end position with Kyler Ertz crushed, you know, yeah. e easily. Uh McBride here could be up in the up in the fifth round next year if he catches 75 80 balls which is I know we're going to miss Kyler for a minute here so it might delay a little bit of the McBride but if that happens he's shooting way up to the top because volume will king he'll be crushing and the tight end position in tight end premium or any really is, is such an advantage when you're when you're hitting it and it, it just week after week it's even if you're uh, the rest of your roster isn't quite as good as maybe some other people's high end if that tight end is just outscoring Everybody else's tight end or, or most of the league's tight ends, you're absolutely crushing it here. So I just I don't think that you're you're buying any of those guys again in the next year. The 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 Kincaids. I mean, you might be able Even, to buy them for ninety seven to ninety five cents on the dollar, right, but, but like what is you're, you're basically minimal. gonna have to trade a first to get Kincaid again next year if somebody wants to punt, and it, he'd probably have to blow his Achilles off for anybody to even be interested in really getting rid of him. Yeah. I just, I, I don't, I don't really understand why people are so against it. I understand the, the, the idea of it, but sh trends break. We just saw a bunch of trends break. The fact that it didn't work out for that last class. Okay. It didn't work out. It could smash for this class. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Hayden Hurst shouldn't be in the conversation of a first round. Well, he was all tight end 27. That anybody, right. That anybody wanted, but K Kincaid here, uh, can come in right away. Yeah. Demand volume and crush, uh, and I'm I'm a hundred percent okay with saying, hey, I'm drafting one of these tight ends late in the first round. You're yeah. not getting them. I'm getting them. I'm putting them on my roster, uh, and and I'm not trading them. I, I I already know that I'm I may have to wait a year or two, but this is, and furthermore, like to just wrap up this point, like even if you don't necessarily want to even move forward with Kincaid, if you want, it's just like a fucking quarterback, man. If you want one of those good tight ends that are already proven, one of those top five guys, you need another tight end with, with some fun promise like yep. a Kincaid yep. to get you in the realm of getting yeah. to that next step of, of tight end. So you don't necessarily even have to keep him, but that guy with the value and what he could be could help you get to one of those other tight ends to really improve your team. So there's a, a whole bunch of reasons why to draft a tight end here for me uh, in tight end premium at the end of the first round. So, uh, yeah, and especially with Kincaid, he's kind of like a, a cult hero already. You know, people are basically the around him. Uh, so he's he's like people are ready to go. Right. How high would you take him? Would you take Kincaid? I mean, I think, like I said, anywhere from one 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 nine to yep. to one so eleven, one nine, or one have, nine to one twelve. That would be in front of Quentin. I, no, I, I think that I think you got to take him behind the four receivers. So that'd be one ten then, basically. Yeah, yeah. which is fine. That's that's about what I'm saying. You're not I'm taking not, him in. I'm not saying go way up receivers. here. Now, if it's two points a, a, sure, a catch, a then fucking maker. pants off, wheels up, wherever the hell you want to take him. What about one point seven five? Uh, we could move. Yeah, we could move him up a hair. But you take well. all the wide receivers. In 1.5, yes. I'm still probably going to take 
1.75, you could talk me into taking him over Flowers and Johnson. Johnston, sorry. Potentially. Yeah. Not Flowers. He's on this list today, okay? <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's your list. I have my All own right. list. Let's, let's move to the second round. And again, the first round's tough. The second round is, is, is tough because, you know, I know everybody wants you to trade all these players away, but really these first two rounds are a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of good players here. Um, so it's, it's, it's tough here. So must draft in the second round for Jay Wayne. Who, who do you like? I'm going to stick with uh, having some fun here, putting the F. The F is for fun, putting some fun back in fantasy football, and that is Devin A. Chain. Uh, I'm excited to take Devin A. Chain in the second round. He's an exciting player. Didn't know where to put him. You moved. You didn't have to take him off. You just put him over to the side, mm-hmm. and now he's in Miami, and I just don't care about his size as much as I care about the uh, the, the dynamic ability that he has the electricity and the scheming that's going to go into uh the the capital that they put into this man so yeah let me get let me get david a chain let me have some fun here mr foreman come on you already know who it is (laughs) who's it gonna be it's roshan 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 that's your guy huh? taking him as early as pick 15 so i'm fine taking him in the beginning, I think I could take him. Oh, I could take him in the, so the dashboard have, confessionals concert. Oh, for sure, for He's, sure, for sure, for Tell sure. Saquon and Miles Sanders. They can. Everybody's coming. <laughs> quad pod, quad pod. <laughs> oh, that'd be a fucking electric. <laughs> <laughs> Just me hanging out with the boys, <laughs> screaming infidelities. Oh, for sure. Could you imagine me with those three guys? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> like, what the hell? Like. Anyways, um, no, I think Roshan's got an easy. I think his role r- from week one is going to be as the third down back because Herbert and my cousin Deonta don't catch passes at all. Roshan, Foreman. Roshan is an is is probably the one of the it, one of the if not the best pass pass blocking running backs I've scouted since I started, started doing this six years ago. He can catch passes. He didn't catch a ton of passes, but he also was. We're talking sure. about he was also behind the best running back recruit we've seen since Adrian Peterson. So mm-hmm. favorite stat with Roshan, he leads power five running backs and missed tackles forced per attempt since 2015 over both Javante Williams and his teammate Bijan. Yeah. So that's my favorite stat. People like that with Javante. And I, like sure. I said, immediate third down role. And he obviously has that third down. He has a three down skill set. I mean, we're talking about a guy who came in as a highly recruited quarterback who's now playing running back. He's learned the position three years ago, mm-hmm. and he's a fourth-round draft pick, and the, obviously the Bears like him. So we're talking about in the middle of the second round here. I'm fine with it. I'm not worried about, oh, he didn't get day two draft capital. It's fine. It is what it is. Yeah. Only, what, four running backs did? Yeah. And, uh, you know, Foreman, Foreman contract isn't crazy. It's a, I think it's a basically, basically a one-year one deal. Year and her, uh, Herbert. Herbert doesn't have the draft capital. Yeah. I mean, whatever. I, it's just, it's a nice, I think it's a, a fairly fun, cheap backfield to kind of have two, two yeah. of the three. Yeah. Um, I have two of the three in, in my, in my running back, one of my running back heavy leagues. Yeah. So. And I, I like that backfield. Not, you know, I'm not upset necessarily about Roshan there. I mean, if he was on the Niners last year, you might even get a QB start out of him. So. Could have, that that would have been crazy. The Bears GM did say that they liked his ability to throw, so I don't know if that was a shot <laughs> at Justin Fields or what, but yeah. I mean, who's the backup in Chicago right now? Uh, Nathan Peterman. Couldn't tell I me. I, I think have it no is. Idea. I think it is the Peter Man. A couple, couple different guys. I forget. I forget exactly who. Anyway, uh, my second round uh, must draft is if Kendra Miller is in the second round, trade in, get your boy. I love Kendra Miller. Uh, I think out of any of these running backs here that that would be that that back half first or top of the second like he's, he's the guy who i think i could see taking over a backfield um and 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 having uh kind of a workhorse type of role with ak you know alvin kamara being a, a little bit of a, a knucklehead and we're not exactly sure knucklehead not exactly sure how that's gonna Thanks, play Chuck. out <laughs> um and then i know jamal williams scores scored a million touchdowns but before that he was irrelevant He's a fairly irrelevant player to me. He's a fun guy. I like him a lot. Oh, he's, and yeah. I think he's he's fine. But Kendra just to me has a, that that same thing that kind of that Damian Pierce on the field has that just kind of ex- there's a lot of there's excitement when he's making moves and cutting and then he's got he's got the the speed to finish a run, good pass catcher, good all around back. 
Uh, so if, if Kendra's going anywhere in that top of that second there and falls down into there, I'm, I'm pulling the trigger on Kendra uh, in the second round here. All right, let's keep it moving to the third round. Uh, Jay Waynes. Let's, what do you like in the third round? I like a lot of guys in the third round, you know, mm-hmm. but if there's one that I'm like kind of having my eye on the whole time, not sure exactly when I should take, but kind of really want to take him is our boy, Zach Evans, you know? Yeah, sure. That's It's just too easy. Uh, he's just too easy. He's so cheap now. I wanted to make sure that I got him before the NFL draft and then capital was a concern. He doesn't p- catch a lot of passes. The hands don't look great. There's some off the field potential issues. I'm not saying there are. For one thing or another, he fell in the NFL draft. A lot of running backs did. And now you can get him mid to late third. So right. yeah. I'm going to try and make sure I get Zach Evans in the third round. I would agree for that. I mean, I'll have my own, but that would be uh, yeah. for sure one of mine. I was in the in the last rookie draft I was doing, I was decided between Evans and my guy. So yeah, I'm you, right there with you. You, for me, uh, that's the guy. Once we get to the like, if we can get past like three, four, and Evans doesn't go, I mean, I'll still find to get try to get up in there. But you, yeah. usually, you'll have a couple other guys, whether it's Tillman or Hyatt or Reed or whoever falls down into that third round. You usually pushes Evans even further down, um, and I'm I'm jumping in there and, and definitely getting Evans. He's he's so close to being able to get an opportunity right off the rip, uh, yeah. where even maybe him and Acres could split time. Um, and Acres was great at the end of last season, but crushed. I think you know they're so was Tyler Algier. So why the fuck does it matter? R- right, right. So we'll. Uh, I like the talent with Evans. I like Acres is a nice buy too. Uh, but you know you can kind of own that backfield up, and and I think the Rams might might lean a little bit more into the run game this uh, year. I don't. Uh, uh, I don't know. So. I don't know if that. I don't know what that team's going to look like. It's yeah. going to be a, it's going to be a bad year in LA this year. But it's a nice nice thing to grab onto. He's definitely better than. Uh, Kyron um, yeah and so anyhow who's your who's your guy uh sticking with my guys and going with Eric Gray Eric so, Gray love the film um there's been talk that the Barkley pro- talks are the Barkley contract talks are not progressing well mm-hmm. and there's a chance he could even hold out so um we know those running backs who hold out miss training camp and the preseason a lot of chance for soft muscle injury soft tissue inju- injury so I mean, Gray's going to walk in there. The only person he has to beat out is old ass Matt Breida. So, um, seemingly, could basically the same thing with Evans is he's going to walk into an RB two role, and we could be talking about a guy who could be starting as early as this year if Barkley holds out, if not next year, um, if Barkley decides to uh, go away from the Giants. So, you really think he's going to hold out? I don't know. Could he could he's th- he said he's not signing the front he said he said he's not signing the franchise tag. Yeah. No, I, I, I Eric Gray's you know fun a fun watch you know just didn't didn't get the uh, the combat they didn't get the athletic score that, that yeah you wanted. I think yeah with with Gray if he would have been just a touch faster we're talking about a day two pick I think he just the one thing he's missing is just that that extra little. That actually, like, yeah, I think if he was a four or five guy, he'd be. I think we'd be talking about him a lot earlier. But um, like I said, not terrible. It's just the speed score. I, Jay Wayne's got it pulled up there. Thirty-seven and a half inch vertical and a nine ten broad. It is nothing. Nothing to shake a stick at there. Yeah. No, nothing. Explosion. So he's got the short area quickness. He's just missing that a little bit of a, little bit of the uh, top end. Sure. He didn't even run the forty. What's he hiding? <laughs> he was Fran four six two at at the. Uh, oh, the that's what he's hiding. Yeah, yeah. We well, can't be any right. good. That's all right. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll round out the third round, and you know this one's kind of a fringe. And if 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 Tank falls into the third round, Tank Bigsby, that is, falls into the third round. I've Man, seen you him, guys are really seen him teetering on the edge there. You guys are really cut. You guys are really being like, oh, seen him teetering on the edge. Uh, but you know, I can I can throw one more out there. Um, in the third round too if, we, if we're good but tank is my guy if tank if tanks if tank rolls a 3-1 i'm trading in to to sure. uh to try to get me some tank bigsby um and there's there's there is a lot of fun guys especially in the first half of the third round i feel like um but i'll stick with uh i'll stick with my guy uh chase brown here uh if, if we can get past you know 
three, four, th- kind of like that Evans deal. Like if we can if we can get some of those Hyatts and Tillmans to push them down a little bit, any of those guys could have been on this must draft list for me. Uh, but if I can get Chase Brown pushed down a little bit, there's an opportunity there. Uh, they are talking about how they like Tra- Trayvon Tr- Williams, which was an old favorite of ours. Travion. Travion Williams. Um, but I like Chase Brown. I like his game. And we don't know exactly what's going to happen with Mixon. Um, so. Looks like Mixon's going to be there. It does look like Mixon's going to be there. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, it's though. It's like day to day, though, it feels but like. <laughs> Chase Brown, excellent pass catcher. Uh, and could I think he could step right into that Samaje role. Uh, for them who you know really carved himself a role out there and Mixon could be gone soon so I like I like Chase Brown but like I said there could have been I could have thrown a million guys into this third round here so I'll stick with my guy and, and Chase Brown there all right let's go to the fourth round who you like I'm gonna go with a quarterback Stetson Bennett steady uh, Eddie I think I'm gonna be drafting Stetson in super flex leagues in the Mail fourth man. rounds just He's just a gamer. He's the reason why Georgia won some of those games. He They needed him to step up and put drives together and put the ball in the end zone, and he delivered. You mean it wasn't Ladd McConkey? I'm saying that that team is stacked, and they got a bunch of first-rounders in two straight years, and Stetson Bennett was the reason why they won some of those games. You know what I'm saying? Like big yeah, games. Yeah, because all of those, all those first-round picks were on the defensive side of the ball. Right, but still, they needed to score. Sure, yeah. They needed to score, and he was coming through in the oh, clutch. Oh, yeah. I right? my remember man watching a, the Tennessee game this year, and he was just my dropping man's a, a game. He, I kept cheering against him. I kept rooting against him, and he kept just ripping me apart. And I was like, this dude can play. And then you see him take off and juke people out of their shorts and get yards on the ground. I just uh, I, yeah. I liked what I, I liked what I saw. And then he's, he gets drafted by the Rams. Don't know what's going to – you know, Stafford hasn't been the picture of health. Yeah, he's going to be starting for you. I think we said it on the last episode or so. Like he's going to be starting games for you in your super flex leagues. It gets hard out there in the regular season in super flex leagues. Injuries the and Rams all kinds of needed shit. a backup and haven't haven't had one really that they can rely on. So yeah, yeah. It's Speaking just, of which, John Walford signed with the Bucks today. Mm. The old Johnny Walford. All right, who you got? Uh, I ha- also have Tank, but I have Tank Dell. Mm. Love it. You. He could go in the third round. For he me. could. Definitely. I've seen him going in the fourth. Mm-hmm. Um, I know in the the last rookie one, one of the rookie mocks we did post draft. I don't think he got drafted in the first four rounds. I'm not sure. I could. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a good route runner. Obviously, the rumor was that Stroud really wanted him. Since when does Houston listen to what their quarterback wants, though? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, they probably <laughs> listen to him when they're not diddling up all the masseuses. So, I got him at four six in this. Perfect. In so, this one. okay. That's what started that whole thing. Is that Watson wanted to say on he wanted them to interview Eric Bieniemy for the head coaching job? Well, they, and they probably like, should have. We're not even going to bring him in. So, so they brought in fucking Lovey Smith, mm-hmm. placeholder. <laughs> that was after. And, and then same thing no, with the other in, uh, with the other guy. With I don't remember what his even name was. Um, yeah. What do you like about Tank Dell? Ex great route runner, minimal target competition there. Love day it. two draft capital, still getting overlooked as a. So what's not to like? Sizes. Yeah, I mean he he's a savage out running routes. Yeah. Just just frail. Looking frail on the on this <laughs> frail on the scale. Uh but but an absolute savage and a whole lot of fun to watch. Tanked. I like I like that shot there. Uh, so look, we're still in the fourth having fun fun shots here. Uh I I I'm gonna stick right in Houston. I'm gonna go Xavier Hutchinson. Um and you know, what do we know about that receiving core? Not a whole lot. We got we got Bobby Woods. Nico. And then basically the only other person that's ever played a snap on that wide receiving core is Nico Collins, which has been a favorite of ours for a while. Still in on Nico. But you got Mm -hmm. Mechie, who hasn't ever played. You got Dell, who hasn't ever played. And you got Hutchinson, who hasn't ever played. So and Schultz is, you know, the guy who's probably could soak up a nice amount of easy targets for them and could be Stroud's best friend. But I like Xavier Hutchinson giving them something, you know, different. He can kind of play the intermediate uh, and short game route and, and give you a little bit of yak, good blocker. So I think that'll help him get on the field um, and just been a favorite of mine throughout this process. Uh, did got a little later capital than I hoped. And, yeah, uh, for sure. You know, but I, I like Hutchinson and I like Tank Dell. Like I'd trade it in and grab those guys back to back. You know, that it feels better once Tank goes, then you can get. Hutchinson, yeah, you know, Stroud, it feels weird taking Hutchinson over Tank Dell. Stroud said he wanted Tank Dell. That so was what, is, what the rumor is, yeah. So, right. All right. Well, we're going to wrap that up. I could have also went Sean Tucker there as one of your last picks. This is a shot in the dark. 
uh you know, see see kind of what happens there as a, as a late fourth rounder. Yeah, sure. They went to a, a good landing spot there. Yeah, I thought the landing spot. I Not much was, there behind Brashad. Yeah, I thought that was great. Um, now maybe a veteran will come in. There's been the rumor Zeke. Little Zeke. Yeah. I, th- I could see. So where Zeke rumored to Tampa. Tampa? I could see some yeah. other you know Wiley vet coming in there. Maybe Kareem Hunt. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. Somebody like that. So anyway. Let's get out of here. We appreciate y'all. Hope, go watch the uh, must avoid list because it's going to be, uh, you know, similar. And share the comments how you clean your booty hole. Yeah, that's right. Let me know. I might have cut that out. No, you didn't. <laughs> People need to get to the point on the YouTube. They do not want to hear us talk about how to clean, how you should be cleaning your booty hole. <laughs> well, <laughs> you might have to go to the podcast and I, check that I, one out. I want to know. So, I want to know. I'd like to know. I'd like to know. <laughs> Be sure to hit that subscribe, that like button, leave a comment. Is that about Joe? Who's your favorite? Is that Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's your favorite uh, player to draft in these rounds? Let us know. Let us know what you didn't like, what you liked. If you're listening on the podcast, hit me with that five-star review on the Spotify or the iTunes. Appreciate you. Head over to the patreon.com slash FF Dynasty. Get into the Discord. Get your questions answered. Get the... Give us the $5 holla. Support your boys. We got extra shows. We had a super fun draft weekend. Uh, Just a lot lot going on over there. So appreciate all y'all for listening, and we will see you next time. Peace. Before we get going, I was wondering today, like, what, what's the, how do you guys go about, you know, washing your, your b-hole? Is it, you go, what, you just go hand right in there? You go washcloth? That's just strictly I'm a, hole See, I'm a loofah guy. A loofah. So. What do you do? You can't stick the loofah in there. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I, you got to use the hand. It doesn't, it doesn't quite get, it doesn't quite get in the. It's always it a get, burning it, question. I always wonder what everybody else does. They talk about this on a lot of different shows. I don't know if this is the one. Mm. I've uh, never heard it talked about. I've, I've tried different things. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I will say having wet wipes in the house is they'll never not have wet wipes. In See, the but house. the problem with the wet wipes is a, my dog eats them if they're <laughs> sitting in the trash can and B, I want to flush them and I don't oh, want to have, you can't flush them. I know can you can't flush them. I know you can't, can't flush them. I know you can't flush them. Can you get soap dirty? <laughs> you gotta, I don't, I don't think you gotta soap so. up, soap it and then wash off and re-soap. <laughs> It's and like the, continue it's, on. Yeah, it's like the whole. It's like the whole. Can Nick, you get the bar of soap dirty though? No, it's you, like because it, you can wash the whole area of the soap back off. It's with like the hot Nick, water. It, it's like the Nick Miller with the towel. Like because I don't can, wash the towel. The, the towel. towel the, towel, the, the <laughs> towel dries me. Like That's what are we gonna do? Wash the bar of soap? You can definitely get a loofah dirty in the in the washcloth. That's done. That's, well, that's one and done. That's fabric. Right, yeah. but that's done. You can't. You be. You can't. Use one that and again. done on a loofah. If it goes in your beat crack, if you're going, if you're getting deep in that, in that, uh, jungle, (laughs) in that orifice. Yeah. Anyhow, but the bidet, the bidet bidet is is the, really the only answer. (laughs) The toilet seat bidet, right? Yeah. I don't, I've never used one. It's a delight. I've heard heard it's a game changer for the booty hole. It's a delight. I had a buddy of mine. I know he's not listening to this because he doesn't do anything fancy related, but he used to have his ex-girlfriend would actually help him trim his booty hole hairs. Oh. Yeah, the uh, what was that guy Daniel Sloss Slossinger, the Sloss Monster? He was he's got a bit about why you should yeah keep your booty hairs trimmed yeah. and use wipes instead well, you, of you don't want to you don't want to trim back there. I made that mistake. Well, once, he, that's why he had his, need help. That's why he had his ex girlfriend do it. I didn't need any help, but it was just after a few days, it was like Prickly Pete was sitting back there. It was just <laughs> <laughs> that's why you scissors. That's why you use scissors, uh, well. not. Not shaving. It's more of Trimming a barber that. experience. Exactly. Than a, than a full, <laughs> like like, ta- sh- like Taco. Shake up. When Taco used to do the... <laughs> when Taco had that episode where he had the pubic hair. He was a need pubic a, hair barber. Need a mustache comb. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking three penis wine. We got to cut all, all that out for YouTube, right? They <laughs> oh, are fuck not going to like that. Yeah. All right. So... Oh, check the timestamps. We're just talking about hygiene. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. Uh, did start watching the new season of Curb and... There's a new season well, of Curb? Well, it's new to me. I haven't seen the last season. Uh, okay. And they, the him talking about the debating of like new soft towels versus old, like Ooh. like not scratchy, but mm-hmm. not, but like more rough towel. And I do not like a new. I do not like a new towel. I like an old towel. You don't. It never dry. Larry hit it on the head. You don't get dried off by the new towel. It just you just like padding with yeah. the old towel. I can just get in there and it just takes it all right off of me. I like a new towel. Mm. Mm. See, our towels are a couple years old now, so they're 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 
Our towels are fraying. I would. Shit. I would. I have, okay. Another. Towel. Okay. I would no. expect an answer like that from you. You're just yeah, very soft. Barely skin. a man. <laughs> I'm all man. Now we have this guy's, this guy's pushing cuticles every day. We have like eight. We have day. like eight towels that we rotate in and out, so they're, they're all the same. So in and yeah. out at a medium pace. Yeah. yeah. 